Beloved, we are here today in the majestic, glorious Appalachian Mountains. They actually span 1,600 square miles long of just God's majestic beauty and might and power. Over here to the left, we have the Piedmont region that have come from the eroded remnants of the mountains. And to the right, the majesty of the Creator, who is also the father of each of these beloved women sitting here today. And so I just come before you today because I'm coming before you today not just as a woman for Bible study, but as a woman who is coming and asking, begging, really, of you to take a second and let me give you my plea for why this woman right here, Kelly Bowman, should win the trip to Atlanta. I want to tell you about my relationship with Kelly has come back from a long time ago. It's actually been a story that has been in the depths of my soul since probably early on in, you know, college. <laughs> and so my time with Kelly has been so special and close to my heart. But what has been most important to me in this relationship is that I am here today telling you that right out of the pages of Scripture is the life of this woman. This young woman I've watched grow in the Lord as she's fallen and stumbled, but that he has rescued and redeemed, and she is walking forward in obedience that is only straight out of the book of Scripture. She is a disciple like none I've seen in my lifetime, and she's one that continues to teach and encourage me because of her love of our glorious and precious Savior, Redeemer, and Friend. And so today what I want to tell you is that I want to tell you this specific verse about Kelly Bowman. She is a, a single mom of two of the most beautiful kids you've ever seen in your life. She is a teacher. She is a prayer warrior and a lover of the Lord. Her husband is um, divorced from her. They've been divorced several years now. She is holding fast to the promise of reconciliation and knows that the Lord's going to come through on that. But every day more than that... The life of this woman is a, is a woman that comes over and puts her face in this word and says, you know what, With it, no matter what else comes, this is going to remain true in my life. And so what I want to tell you is that Kelly Bowman needs to win this prize and she needs to go to Atlanta. That's just all there is to that. I mean, there's no doubt about that. But I want to read you this specific scripture in Proverbs. Verse 29 of Proverbs 31. Many women do noble things but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive, deceptive and beauty is fleeting, even though, oh, this woman is beautiful. <laughs> but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. And I want it to be at the city gate with a Starbucks in her hand and a, and a shopping bag on her arm <laughs> in Atlanta. And so I tell you today, right now, that more than anything, I want Kelly Bowman to win this prize to Atlanta. But more than that, I want us to remember that he is enduringly strong. He is immortally gracious. He's eternally powerful. He is God's son. He's the sinner's savior. He's the breastplate of righteousness. He's the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. He's the greatest phenomenon that has ever crossed the horizon of the globe. And he is the God of the second chance, the fat chance, the slim chance, and the no chance. <laughs> and so today, I just want us to take a moment to just, oh, praise the name of the one who has saved me from the pit of despair, who has saved Kelly, and who is going to save you as you make the right choice <laughs> in choosing this woman for our trip to Atlanta. Amen. God speed you. Thank you.